Hi, my name is Matt Bowler, and in this video we will be configuring and verifying syslog and trivial FTP services on a Cisco router as well as a Cisco switch. The Cisco switch in this lab environment is a 2950-24 port, and the router is uh, the virtual router running here in GNS3, say 3640, and it's uh, I believe it's running. It's got uh, one of the advanced security features on it, um, so it can handle anything that we're going to do. It's the same image that I'm running in the IPsec GRE and VPN tunnels, so it has quite a few capabilities. We won't be using uh, nearly, well, really anything past the syslog and TFTP feature. So to get started here, we have my laptop, which has two network cards configured, one with the IP address of 192.168.1.100, and a second network card, which is running from the switch, the, my actual switch, into the computer, and then I have that network card bound to this uh, cloud interface which is then connected to the router. So we should have complete uh, reachability from my laptop to the router here through this interface. My laptop, which is running this IP, this is going to be the syslog and TFTP server. So that's where we'll be running the server itself and uh, sending the logs and actually backing up one of the iOS's uh, for the switch here. The TFTP can be used for several different things. It's good for backing up files uh, like configurations, iOS images, as well as uh, flashing phones when you're doing voice running Cisco phones. Uh, that's something that we'll get into later in one of the voice series. Uh, but there, there's a lot that you can do with it. We also have syslog here. It can be used for basic logging. Uh, commands and it's really good for maintenance, uh, auditing, accounting, troubleshooting to just send all those messages off to a, a, a server that could be off-site even rather than having all that sent to the device itself having it stored on the router or switch I can send it to a server and then have those logs just you know reach any size that they need to without having to bog down and waste memory on the switch or the router. Uh, a couple things we'll talk about here are syslog, how to present an origin ID to uh, you know s allow it so we can differentiate between which devices are sending which uh, messages. In this particular case the switch does not have that capability but we can demonstrate how to set it up on the router and since there's only two devices here there's not gonna be too many messages but we will at least be able to see how it looks before and after configuring that origin ID we will also from the switch back up the iOS image since this is GNS3 there is no image stored in the flash on the router so we can't actually back up uh, that image but we will show how to send it from the switch the router is currently not configured, so the reachability that we have here is to the switch. So if I ping to the VLAN 1 uh, SVI on the switch, we should have connectivity. There we go. I'm going to bring up the terminal for the router and go ahead and just set up the basic configuration that you'll see in all my labs. Just set up and enable secret password. And I'm going to go into the console port and set up logging synchronous so that if we're in the middle of typing a command it's going to kick us down to the next line and include all of the text that we had entered before rather than just splitting it up and uh, creating kind of a, an ugly output there. Also since this is a lab environment set the exact timeout to never so it's not going to kick us off after a, a particular idle time just assign it a host name of R1 
I'm going to assign the fast ethernet 0, 0 interface with an IP address of uh, well the TFTP server is pointed towards the default gateway of 192.168.1.1 so that will be our router here so we'll go ahead and set that IP address with a 24-bit mask so these are all running on the same subnet here I will set the duplex to full as I have hard-coded that on the switch itself and I'll just do a no shutdown you should see that link come up here in just a moment there we go before I begin or go any further here I just want to make sure that I can ping my default gateway and we have success I'll go ahead and minimize these windows and I want to launch uh, this the TFTP server that I'm running here is called TFTP32 it's a freeware program it runs several services we can see if we bring up the settings here it can act as a client a server can run as an SMTP server a syslog server a DHCP server and a DNS server it's also going to allow us to save our syslog messages that it's receiving to a file and I've specified the file where I want those to go uh, so we'll bring up that folder and check out the files as they uh, show up in that folder and as the uh, the messages append to this particular file if you do use this program you will need to specify the base directory where you want your files to be saved so I've gone ahead and done that um, and like I said we will bring that up in just a moment the TFT port is running on 69 here. It's a default port. I'm going to hit OK because I'm perfectly fine with those settings. You can see this, the server interface dialog here, our drop down box is going to list all the potential interfaces that you have configured. I'm going to set it to the 192.168.1.100 interface as that will be the uh, IP address that I configure as the syslog server on switch A and router 1. So they'll send their information to this IP address.